Okay, this story was told to me by my friend who I haven't talked to in a while, so this will have some adjustments per se. But he wanted me to make this story time because he thought it was really dumb and, well, it is. So, story time. It all started one day when my class and I were assigned to bring a rock to my school the next day. Take note that I was 6 years old and in the first grade. Me being me, I decided to steal a decent sized orange rock from my neighbor's porch, and I took that same rock to school the next day. When we were told to get our rocks from our backpacks, I put my rock on my desk on a piece of paper. Our teacher told us not to touch it, but me, being the rebellious 6 year old I was, grabbed my rock and turned it to the right at a 90 degree angle. Suddenly, the fire alarm went off. We were forced to get out of the classroom, but I knew. I had superpowers. Let's remind you that I was a really dumb six year old. So the having powers part is completely irrelevant to the rock assignment. Fast forward 15 minutes later, we were back in our chairs in the classroom. So remember the superpowers I thought I had? Yeah, I decided to test them out right then and there on that chair. Hey, that rhymed! So what I did was I stood up on my chair and dove off thinking I was Superman for a couple of seconds and landed face first. I was immediately sent to the nurse's office only to get sent home 23 minutes later. After I got home for some gosh darn reason, I still thought I had my quote unquote Superman powers. So I decided to stand on my kitchen counter and I dove off. But this time, I was prepared for this event. I was so smart that I decided to add some protection. A five head, no copium inhaling, no kitten calling, giga brain plan. A couple pillows won't hurt, won't they? Well, so sorry, friend. Sucks of you. The pillows didn't do anything to help break my fall. Thankfully, I didn't land face first. And I was put down to take a nap. Then the FBI burst through my door, asking why he stole the neighbor's rock, the neighbor peering at me through the front door giving me a menacing smirk like he planned this from the very beginning!